I'm Dave. And I'm Wally. And we're doing another segment of Roofing It Right with Dave and Wally. Today we're covering plates and fasteners. I have my book right here. Everything you guys need on plates and fasteners is in our manuals, okay? Be sure you're working with the latest and greatest manual. Today we're using this for the plates and fasteners for insulation. When we get to the deck, we will go over here and use one of these rows. So lock into a row based on your deck, read what it is, it'll tell you the size of the plate, size of the fastener, and the depth at which it needs to be set. Okay? So Wally, what's, let's get started. So a three inch plate is used where? Uh, I got a 50-50 shot here. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna guess the insulation. Right on. Right on. There's all kinds of insulation plates out there. We have recessed, we mm -hmm. also have flush, if you will. Right. And, and I, there's different, and you, depending on what substrate you're using for hardboard, you don't want to use one or the other because it'll make that faster stand proud. Yes. Correct? Yes. Which could cause issues with your installation of the sheet, mm -hmm. abrasion and whatnot. So, right. uh, we also have special, specialty insulation, AccuTrack. AccuTrack. For the insulation and for the seam. Now, this is a three inch, but what is this? That is for a certain system, Rhino Bond. Right. I mean, I could use those on other systems, but. It's a little expensive a little for, bit. yeah. A little, a little more, more expensive than right, this. Right, yeah. right. And this is a three-inch plate, and that is... Plastic. Right. Pre-assembled. Pre-assembled yeah. for insulation, Correct. right? Three-inch, 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 three-inch. There is a pattern there. Now, seam plate. Seam plates always have barbs. There's no barbs on these. Right, and that's what size. And to reiterate, can I use that on my insulation and those on my, on my sheet? That would be bad. That probably wouldn't be good. Yeah. They're engineered for a certain reason. Exactly. So we have this monster, which is what, two and three quarters, double barbed? Uh, yeah. And have you ever walked around a roof and there was a bunch of these laying on the roof on your hands and knees probing or something and, and put you, your knee in one of these? Yes. Uh, get your attention real quick. Yes. I've actually seen these installed upside down on a mechanically attached system and the roof is done. Not real good for your membrane. No. And we also have a double barbed in this size. Mm -hmm. And we also have a double barbed in a smaller size. Well, how do you know which one to use? I was just going to ask you that, Dave. Oh, Why okay. would we use a two and three quarter versus a two inch? You are supposed to do a pull test, right? Correct. On your deck to see how robust your deck is. Correct. Is it 33 KSI? Is it an 80 KSI? If it's wood, is it three quarter or is it half? Whatever. And depending on the pull that you need, you may need a bigger plate to go with a bigger screw. Or with the spacing. The spacing, absolutely. Six yeah. inches versus 12 versus 18 or, or whatever the case may be. Right, right. So it's very important that those get done. Right. Now, we also have these funky looking plates. What are these for? Those are for cementitious wood, lightweight, uh, tectum, tectum gyp. which is cementitious. Yeah, jip. So for decks, you can't use a regular... Screw and plate. Screw and plate. Right. So speaking of screws and plates. Screws. Now, 12, 14, 15. So I have a question. Hang on, I'm on a roll. Okay. 21. Is that how many come in a box? No, that is the wire size that, that is used the to make that wire. screw. Yeah. So we have number 12. Where would we use a number 12 at? Number 12 would be insulation. Insulation. Right. Where would we use, we have a number 14. Uh, 14 would be insulation and could be a wood deck. Or could you use these in the sheet. Yes. Yes. Depending on, on the, the substrate. Uplifter. Right. Okay. We also have a number 15. Right. That is mostly used in sheet. Sheet only. Right. Basically. Could I use them in insulation? You could. Am I losing a lot of money? I would think. But what happens if a guy, let's say we could just two different size screws on the roof. Mm -hmm. That's what it's spec'd out. Mm -hmm. Let's say the guy that's putting in the insulation doesn't switch out the screws or the sheet doesn't switch out the screws to use the wrong screw. Right. So number 15, I can use in anything, correct? Yes, yes. So would it be advantageous to use the number 15 throughout? It could be. Even though be. they cost more? Yeah, yeah, you could do that. That's, that's... Be up to the contract. That's one way to, to cover eliminate, yourself. Eliminate mistakes. Exactly. So what is this big honking thing for? What is that? <sighs> that's a number 21. Number 21. Number 21 would be for a 12-foot sheet. It would be for wind uplift. Wind uplift. Yeah. And it also will wear your wrist out in about 20 minutes. So let me ask you this. Let's say I've got a number 15 here. I can use a regular low torque RPM screw gun for this, right? Yeah. A lot of guys are using cordless drills, putting these in. You see it all the time. 
How long is my cordless drill going to last with that? It's going to laugh at you after yeah. about 10 of them. You need a high torque, low RPM. But I've been on jobs where guys have actually used oh, 21s yeah. and they got the cordless and they're constantly changing batteries. So I need to to wear your wrist out. Right. So also, we sell obviously certain lengths, right? Right. Shorter, longer. What is the longest screw you sell? 14 I think inch, it's 14 or 15. 15 inch. Something yeah. like that. Now, I believe up to after two inches, we don't make half sizes. So you're going full size. Two inch, three inch, four inch, five, you're not making, you can't get a five and a half, I don't believe. Five and three sixteenths. So any size screw, doesn't matter, if, say, if it's, say if it's a four inch or a 10 inch screw, how much thread do I have on that screw? I believe four inches. Four inches is it, the rest is shank. The rest is shank. Which is very important to know, depending on how much you're gonna go through that deck, how much insulation going through and where this faster actually has to get placed, correct? Because if this, if this screw goes past the thread into the shank, what's holding that screw in? Gravity? No, well, grab, kinda. Kinda yeah. sort yeah. What are these, Dave? Those I call augers. So we have now, a metal one and we have a plastic one. Right. And according to the book, the polymer is... It should be plastic. Right. Know that much. Goes with a three-inch plate. You have to drill one and a half inch into the deck. And it's for gypsum, concrete, cementitious wood fiber, or tectum. Okay. Which you really don't see either one that much. And we also wood. have the seam plate to go with it, right? Right. And this, we also have the metal one. Mm-hmm which is your insulation plate. Star least, bit? Star bit now, there is two different. Right. There's a square drive and there's a star drive for these. Mm -hmm. Does that pretty much covers it? I think that pretty much covers so it. We get, we're gonna, actually gonna go over the decks to see how these are installed. Right, right. right. 